Breezy day for most of us in the valley. Other than that, fairly quiet. How does the rest of our night look? Yeah, breezy today and a bit hazy, still kind of hazy as we take a live look outside on the Coronado.com Valley Sky Cam, part of the Storm Team Sky Cam Network, looking off towards the uh, softball fields, off towards the uh, distance there. And we'll see some hazy conditions, some smoke some from some Canadian wildfires has made its way on into the area. Should clear a lot of that out as we head through the day tomorrow. 67 degrees right now, winds are still breezy. They're going to stay breezy overnight tonight and through the day on Friday. 66 in Langdon and Valley City as well as in Jamestown. Still 70 in Devil's Lake, but off toward the east, much cooler. 55 in Wadena and 57 in the Bemidji area. Winds, as mentioned, still breezy out there. They're going to stay breezy. Could see gusts over 20 miles per hour tonight and upwards of 30 miles per hour as we head through the day on Friday. Not a whole lot of cloudiness in the area yet, but it's on the way, moving in from the west underneath those clouds. We have seen some showers and storms out in western parts of the state. And as we head through the overnight hours tonight, might see a few showers develop up in the Devil's Lake Basin. A better chance for some showers and storms as we go through the day tomorrow. We'll show you that in just a minute in the hour-by-hour -hour forecast. There are those showers and storms in northeastern parts of Montana and northwestern parts of North Dakota. And they'll slide on across the state, giving us that chance for showers and storms later on tomorrow. Showers and storms dying in the Rockies off toward the south. Some showers and thunderstorms continue over parts of the southeast with what's left of Harvey. One severe thunderstorm just south of the Birmingham area. Numerous reports of tornadoes in northwest Alabama, northern Mississippi, and even in Tennessee earlier today. Jumping out into the Atlantic, all eyes on Irma. Now, Hurricane Irma, already a Category 3, a major hurricane, moving off towards the west and northwest. And it's about seven to eight days away from affecting land, but I'm sure you're going to be hearing about Irma over the next couple of weeks. Here in the uh, Red River Valley, as we head through the overnight hours tonight, we'll see a bit of cloudiness, more cloudiness as we head into tomorrow morning, and that chance again for a few showers up in the Devil's Lake Basin. As we head towards tomorrow morning, chance for some showers and some thunderstorms, and as we head through the rest of the day, that's the first wave, and then we may see another wave develop as we head towards the afternoon and evening hours. Some of these storms later in the day, those are the ones that could be on the strong side, Keep it tuned to the latest forecast, and we'll let you know if anything gets out of hand as we head through your Friday. 61 to start off your day. It's already going to be breezy. Temperatures getting into the upper 60s by your noontime hour later on the day. That chance for some showers and storms. And temperatures in the low 80s. Picture of the day. This is a, a deer picture, early morning visitor in Goodridge, Minnesota. We're going to use that as the backdrop to our seven-day forecast. And again, that chance for storms Friday. But right now, the weekend, the three-day weekend for many folks is looking good. Tailgating looking good before the game. And Labor Day Monday looking a little bit cooler and windy. And we're going to get cooler temperatures as we head towards your Tuesday and Wednesday. But... We'll warm it right back up by Thursday. And I know a lot of people are going to be eager to get their tailgating going early on Saturday oh, yeah. morning. How's that looking? It's looking fantastic. I mean, Good. it might be a little cool in the morning, but come on. It's going to be nothing compared to what we'll see in a few months. Don't say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, Robert. You got it.